Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. Salutations. Hello, I want you to have this. You seem to really like it. If your compliments were anything to go off of. So I hope you like it. Yuri. He really is my friend. Of course, of course. Didn't expect a girl like me to be into this sort of thing, huh? I twiddled my thumbs. She giggled. Well, I'm not. <laughs>
the mu the most recent abuse done to Megan was her being tied up and as in Yuri nodded. Uh Oh Jeebus Christ, Yuri. And then she uh had a female circumcision ton on her with a propane torch. Oh my dear Glob, that is so messed up. You wasn't able to say sexual assault, but she was able to say that? I frown internally. That's a little, uh, brutal, don't you think? Yeah, that's, and messed up too. No, definitely. My, um, interest in this novel can be mostly defined as morbid curiosity. I'm a little too invested to stop reading now. I mean, that makes kind of, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, a morbid curiosity. Uh, some of us have that, really, because, you know, you know, you know the old adage, curiosity killed the cat, all that jazz, and plus, you won't be able to stop reading it because it's just so interesting. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. I've been a victim of curiosity a few times myself. Same. Right. Yuri turned back to her book upon no response from me. I turned to my backpack, which housed the lunch I had brought from home. I think I'll just eat that when I get back home. I'm not super hungry anymore. Wait, speaking of food... Hey Yuri, did you already eat your lunch? Or do you not have one? Oh, I just forgot to pack a lunch today. It's not a big deal. Well, you want some of mine? I quickly grabbed out my bento shoe so she couldn't decline without seeing it first. I'm, uh, good. Thanks for worrying, though. Alright, suit yourself. I'm not gonna eat it, but if you want it. I open it up, revealing a brilliantly home-cooked meal. It's right there for you. I set it to the side and pulled out portrait. You're trying to entice me into eating it, aren't you? I nodded. Well, it's working. Eat as much as you want. Thank you, Finn. She grabbed the chopsticks I included and began to scarf down the food. It was as if she hadn't eaten a proper meal in weeks. Uh, is everything okay at home, Yuri? You have meat on your bones, so you're not malnourished or anything. Yeah, unlike Nausiki, I'm just saying though, as per fan claim. Is my food just that good? I smiled. In order to stop myself from worrying, I decided on that as the reason she ate so quickly. Okay, I can understand you liking the food, but please slow down. S sorry Shortly after, she put down the bento. It was empty. I didn't need to eat all of it. I smiled. Don't worry about it. Was it at least good? Mary, where did you get it? I made it. Her eyes widened. Wait, you can cook? Of course. Surprise. I am, but I won't say it isn't a pleasant surprise. Well, I gotta thank Jake, my bro, for teaching me how to cook, so kudos to my bro, Jake. It was pretty very good. She turned back to her book until suddenly her face changed. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Just to the restroom. Lunch period is ending very soon. Though, so you might want just want to be heading to class. But I had a good time talking to you, Finn. And thank you again for the lunch. She grabbed her bag and turned to walk off. Farewell. And she's off. I put the book in my bag and right on cue, the bell rang. Yuri was right, lunch period was ending soon. Though I wonder why she had to go to the bathroom so quickly. Hopefully it wasn't some kind of food poisoning. What? Jeez, Yuri would be the type to not tell me if my food hospitalized her. Bruh, I would never. My cooking is just going to be always your perfection. She can be too nice for her own good. Uh, but that's just another part of the hospitality personality that I view so highly. Why do I say hospitality? That's just, that's just weird. The personality that I find so cute. Never change, Yuri. Never change. Ring. Oh crap, it's the late bell. 
I flung my back on my back and sprinted out of the library. Hopefully you don't forget to, you know, get Portrait of Markov with you, so just double check before you go out. One week later. Okay. See you later, guys. Everyone said their goodbyes, but when it got to Yuri... Farewell, Finn. I avoided eye contact and waved. I exited the classroom shortly after. Well, that was terrible. But I'm afraid it's a necessary evil. Yuri is, well, my relationship with her at least. It's complicated. I never thought I'd say I would say those words, but it's true. Back in that library, I called her cute. In that moment, I completely forgot that I had a girlfriend. All right, Monica. That was out of line. I mean, it's a compliment, so um, no harm done. But I think the biggest issue is was that the fact I called Yuri cute more times than I had Monica. Oh. Okay, scrap that. Which lead me to my situation. I needed to spend less time with Yuri and more time with Monica. Hey, Finn. Speaking of Monica, I turned around to face her and watched as she jogged to catch up. Wait up next time. Sorry. I chuckled. She smiled at that and began to walk at my side. As though suddenly her face changed. Hey, let's talk. What did I do? As my mind raced over every mistake I I had ever made in my entire life, Monka spoke up. Hey, it's nothing that bad. You're not in trouble or anything. Oh, thank God. You... <laughs> you really got me going there. But if I'm not in trouble, then what's up? It's... about Yuri. Okay, now I'm panicking. Oh boy. Finn. It looks like you've been avoiding her, and she seems really unhappy. Did something happen between you two? Uh... Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting. But I can't exactly ignore her question. Well, uh... No, I just... Uh... How do I word this? It's... Nothing. I haven't been avoiding Yuri on purpose. I've just been having a real off day today. That's a lie. That's a flat f lie. But what am I supposed to do? I can't tell her the truth. I just can't. What? Is is there something between me and Yuri in this mod? Like, he's my GF and Monica is not? Okay, now I'm kind of curious on how that goes, I think. She would surely break up with me. Well, I... Okay, if you're so sure. But if you ever need to talk about anything, I'm always here, you know? I love you, Finn. Never forget that. Uh, I nodded. The thanks, Monica. That means a lot. She nodded and then smiled. Anyway, on a lighter note, I had a question. What's up? Do you want to go out on a date with me? My eyes widened and my cheeks glared up. A date? Yep. We've been dating for over... Uh, we've been dating for a little over a week now and we're yet to actually go out. I mean, yeah, but didn't the festival count as a date? We're just friends at the time, technically. So what do you say? Uh... Or? When do you want to go out and did you have anywhere in mind? There's this really cute cafe that opened up recently and it's really close by. And regarding a time, no Saturday yet. Or I'm pretty sure that might be 4 p.m. or 7 p.m. It's a cafe, so it's not exactly a super great spot to get dinner. We can do that some other time. Uh. So, how about it? So it works for me. Yay! Monica kissed me on the cheek and grabbed my hand. She began to prance through the hall, my hand still in hers. I pranced with her. After a few seconds though, I had a sudden thought. Oh! Our prancing halted and I turned to Monica. You want me to wear anything specific? 
You can you can just wear your casual clothing. We're not going to a fancy restaurant or anything. Sounds good. She nodded and we began to prance once more. Though before I knew it, it was Saturday. Oh glob. Oh no. I never been on a date before. The festival didn't count because that was more spur of the moment than an actual date. Thanks, Natsuki. But now I that I have time to prepare, I'm nervous. Oh man, am I nervous. I showered twice and I'm wearing two different types of deodorant. Is there anything else? Um, just 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 simmer down, calm down, relax, and think. I ran a hand through my hair. Uh hair. I quickly scrambled scrambled to my bathroom. I closed the door shut behind me and grabbed my comb. Do I want to stick with what I've been doing or do I want to try something new? Monica said she liked my hair, didn't she? Well, yeah, when we took her back to her house. She did. And Sayori said I look like the guy from that one game. Ah, yes, Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. I pulled out my phone and pulled up an image of the character. Uh, after several image changes and about three minutes of work, my hair was perfectly accurate to the tough guy. I sat down the comb and groaned and scratched my nose. <laughs> that tickles. But if Monica likes it, then I would consider being tickled worth it. I left the bathroom and walked down to my kitchen. I look over at the clock. It's 13.15. I have around 45 minutes until Monica gets here. Okay, so it's definitely 4 p.m. I sat down in a chair and stared at the clock, watching the minutes tick by. Uh... You know, something's... Something's up. Something is wrong. What is it? Is this what people mean when they say gut feeling? Because I can definitely feel it. I stood up from the chair and walked to the living room. Maybe even some TV will get my mind off it. It's a good way to pass the time, at least. I grabbed the clicker and turned on the color box. It's an infomercial for gardening supplies. I switched the channel, but then it hit me. Gardening. Flowers. I need to get Monica flowers. That's what I was wrong. Or that's what... That's what is, was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I quickly stood up and shot off the television. I walked to my front door and grabbed my hoodie from the coat rack. After that, I walked outside and out onto the street. Uh, flowers. Where can I get flowers? I could try the grocery store, but that feels impersonal. Maybe a floral shop? Those ones feel too mainstream. Oh wait! Wasn't there a flower stand in the city? Yeah, yeah, there was. I pull out my phone. The city is, a. Uh, 15 minute walk. It wasn't far, but did I have time? Here and back, that's 30. Right now it's 13, 13, 21. Oh, that's cutting it close. If I'm late, I can just use the excuse that I was, uh, okay, no excuses. I just have to make it in time. I begin to lightly jog, not wanting to waste any more time, but not wanting to run. After all that, I didn't want to make myself stink. Uh, it's cold. I sigh. The things I do to be a good boyfriend. I groan and I scratch my head rapidly. All this movement better not screw up my hair. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I'm wearing a hat, so uh, whoop de do. Okay, I'm here. Where the heck is that flower stand? Isn't it near the... Yep, there it is. Looks like they have a good amount of flowers left too. Perfect. I walked up to this stand and a girl greeted me. Hello. Oh! Kotonoha! Hello! Haven't seen you since uh, Doki Doki Night Nurse and now you're a flower stand girl? Okay. Oh, and it just says flowers there. Um, I And of course I know this is pretty much Kotonoha. Hello. What can I do for ya? Oh then, alright then I guess Koto has named flowers here. Okay then. Hey, looking for some flowers for my girlfriend? So cute. Do you have any specific flower in mind? A favorite she has, maybe? Sure. 
I'm guessing that's a no then. Well, that's okay. I'm sure we can find something she would like. How about... something like this? You pulled up what seemed to be a variety bouquet. This is called the Bundle of Love Collection, and it features prominently romantic flowers, such as tulips, peony, peonies. As she droned on, I began to tune her out. I don't care about the names, lady, just give me the dang flowers. So, I snapped out of my momentary daze. How about it? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I'm sure she would love them. Yeah, take it. Take all my diamonds. I'll, uh, wait, not all my diamonds. Well, in this case, I guess I'll just spend my emeralds on it. <laughs> the diamonds are for Sayori. Great. Let me just wrap these up for you and you can be on your way. And emeralds, well, make sense because, you know, villagers and Monica's emerald eyes. That's definitely not intentional. Shut up. She pulled the flowers out of the bucket they were sitting in and shook them to get rid of the flower. Uh, to get rid of the water. After doing so, she pulled out a plastic bag and put them in. She set them on the counter. Cash or card? Card. I swiped my card in the reader, input my pin, grabbed my receipt, and took my flowers. The lady waved goodbye and I nodded to her. Have a good day. You too. I looked at said receipt. 2,936 yen. I assume that might be around... I don't know... 29 dollars or something? I'm not entirely sure about the conversion. I put my hand to my mouth. Aw, oh, crud. I scoffed. Last time I shopped there... Afterwards, I pulled out my phone to check the time. 13.45. Crap. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I am back. And with... I took a deep breath and looked at my phone. 14.03. Negative three time minutes to spare. I closed my eyes and massaged my nose. Suddenly, my phone went off. It's for Monica. Crap, she's probably pissed. Hey Finn, I'm going to be a little late. Sorry to make you wait, but my parents decided to inter interrogate me. Interrogate, interrogate, there we go. I'm so sorry I messed up the word back there. Interrogate me where, on where I was going. Suffice to say, it took them a while to get a straight answer. And they think I'm going out with some friends, so for now, we're good. But yeah, I'm on my way over now, so get ready. Heart. <laughs> Sounds good. See you then. This is wonderful news. I unlocked my door and threw it open. I needed to go reapply deodorant and maybe eat a breath mint. Maybe change my shirt. Thank goodness. Ding dong, bing bong. Alright, let's do this. I jumped off the couch and used the momentum to carry myself to the door. I sped off my gum in a nearby trash can and grabbed hold of the doorknob. Be a man, Finn. Yeah, make a man out of yourself. <laughs> I quickly opened the door. Oh, thank glob, she's wearing something normal. Of course, it's just her usual casual outfit that we see from the first episode and, well, during the, uh, the, the festival. And, oh, this music. <laughs> oh, man. Good to see you, Finn. You look handsome. I looked down at the simple polo shirt I had stolen from my father's closet. Uh, thanks. I smiled. It did look good on me. You, uh, look pretty good yourself. Ah, thanks. I know I didn't exactly dress up. But I did still try to make myself look all pretty for you. Oh shoot, she's wearing makeup. Is that why you're wearing makeup? Oh, he, you noticed? Crap, was that the wrong thing to say? I think it was. I gotta save this somehow. Well, yeah. Come on, think. But you're already as beautiful as an emerald shining in the sun. You don't need to try and look better for little old me. Uh... Well, I... Did it work? Thank you, Finn. That means more to that means more to me than you could ever know. She kissed me on the cheek. Score! 
out of the park. Home run, Finn. Woo! <laughs> we'll talk about, uh... So, you want to get going? Oh, right. Sure, lead the way. I gestured my hand. Follow me. I began to follow her until I remembered. All the stress I went through. The amount of money I paid. Hey, Monica. Wait here. She raised an eyebrow and I walked into my kitchen. I grabbed the flowers, hid them behind my back, and returned where I left Monica. I presented them to her and she gasped. Uh, they're beautiful. She took them from my hands and held them to her nose. They smell lovely. Thank you so much, Finn. She waved the, her hand at her eyes. Sorry, I... Oh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's just the uh, tears of joy. Phew, I'm getting emotional. You're really spoiling me here. Oh, it's... it's nothing. Nonsense. Do you have a face where I can put these wh while we are out? Uh, I might. I walked to the kitchen and began to root through the cabinets. Nope. No. Oh, here we go. I pull out an old Chinese vase and blew off the dust. I coughed and waved my hand to clear some of it. I sat on the counter and Monica asked. Uh, Monica reached around me to grab it. In the process, though, she gave me a behind-the-back hug. Hmm. You smell good. She pulled away and grabbed a near a, a nearby pair of scissors. I raised an eyebrow. You do? How do I smell? Uh, you smell like a man. Is that good? She cut the lower part of the flower and turned to me. Of course it is. She filled the vase with water and put them in. There. Now let's get going. We don't have all day. Uh, yeah, let's go. And we're on the road. And I do mean on the road. We took the bus. Oh, nice! I looked out the window and sighed. Something wrong? Nah. I smiled. It's just a little cold. That wasn't true. I mean, it was cold, yeah, but... It wasn't why I sighed. The real reason was that I hated taking the bus. I wouldn't have gotten on, but I couldn't exactly drive anywhere, and I was tired of walking. So the bus was our only option. I turned back forward and Monica leaned her head into my shoulder. I pursed my lips. This feels nice, but I don't exactly know the next course of action. Do I lean my head into hers? Do I pat her head? Do I calmly stroke her hair? Uh... No, we're here. Her head shot up and she slowly began to stand as the bus rolled to a stop. I stood up as well and followed Monica. Uh, I don't consider myself bad at this relationship stuff, but I should probably just trust my gut more. We step off the bus and into the downtown area. Lovely. My one hope was that I wouldn't encounter that flower shop lady. It's just over here, Finn. Though this was supposed new cafe being in the downtown area made sense. That place is usually ripe with with activity. Though I was lost in my own head, Monica navigated me through the busy streets and into a nearby building. Oh wow, this looks pretty nice. Hmm. Well, this is... Well, <laughs> I got nothing else to say really other than it looks nice and all. Uh... Okay, here we are. Why didn't you go? Why don't you go take a seat? I can order the food. Well, don't you want my order? Um, uh, yes, please. What would you like, babe? I then completely blanked on every food and every drink I e I had ever enjoyed. Uh, uh, just a coffee. I hate coffee. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Thanks, though. Sounds good. I'll be quick. As Monica went off to give our orders, I went and found a seat. I stared at her as she stood in line. Dang it, I made the wrong move. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Why do I keep messing things up? I should have. I shouldn't have trusted my gut. Oh, so that's what the gut feeling is. I groaned and put my head in my hands. Okay, okay. Let's just try to make it a go. Better from now on. I rubbed the back of my neck. Be more chivalrous, Finn. Oop, looks like she's coming back. Alright, we're all set. Our food and drinks will be ready shortly. She pulled a chair and sat down. Sounds good. Sorry about that, by the way. I exhaled quickly. What for? For, uh, not really doing anything there. I just kind of forced you to go order the food. Finn, I was the one who told you to get us seats. I know, but... Don't worry so much, okay? I promise I'm not gonna hate you for not being some perfect gentleman. Uh, alright. She nodded and smiled. Uh, um, order for Erwin? That's us. Erwin? Oh, that? That's just something I like to do when I order food at places. Just spices things up, you know? Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Wait, sorry. Erwin, hello? Ah, right. Monica quickly stood up to go retrieve the food. I followed behind her and grabbed my coffee. We sat back in our seats shortly after. Uh, there's a heavy silence in the air. So, uh, how was your day? It was alright. Pretty average. Though it's better that you're with me. How was yours? Pretty average too. Though it's better now. I smiled lightly. Monica smiled back. I sipped my coffee. Uh, I drummed my fingers against the table. Um, Monica took a bite out of her cheese sandwich? <laughs> uh, do I ask? What you eating? Cheese sandwich. Cool. Uh, this is going terribly. I need to save this somehow. Uh, crazy weather, huh? Damn. Uh, it's just been a little nippy. I slammed my head into the table. Finn? I'm sorry. This is going horribly. Uh, is it really? I mean, yeah, it's a little awkward. That's because we're forcing conversation. Just be yourself, alright? Monica picked up my chin. You don't look right with a frown on your face. I forced a smile. Of course, just don't overreact and relax. And oh, it's, it's night time. We stood on my porch. Monica had followed me all the way to my front door. I guess she would have said goodbye at the front gate, but apparently she didn't feel like saying goodbye just yet. Well, this is my stop. It seems it is. She turned to me. I had fun tonight, Finn. That's a lie. That's a flat f***ing lie. Me too. Well, Monica leaned in to give me a kiss, but I kissed her on the cheek instead. Well, I hope you have a good night. Uh, yeah. You too. I nodded and entered my house. Uh, I smacked a hand to my head. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What was that? Why did that suck so bad? Monica was nice. Monica's so nice. A date with her should have been a walk in the park. And you had to go mess it up by... By being you. Granted, there's nothing wrong with being me. But good lord, if I can be a total screw-up when it comes to women. What did I say? Just just relax. Don't over... Don't overreact or something like that, you know? And being yourself ain't so bad after all. Like, really. I mean... You don't have to force yourself. Ugh. Maybe if... Maybe if I try to find the problems, I can work around them in the future. I mean, first time... First, first time, I mean, I get it, but still... Uh, maybe I get nervous sometimes if I ever do meet my uh, meet my princess in, in person. But that would be a story for another day or for another time. I nodded to myself. Yeah. I pulled a nearby notebook out of a drawer along with a pen. I clicked it. 
Okay, so problems with the date. Uh, the fact that my answer to that was where do I even start did not mean anything good. But what was the main problem? What you eaten? Dry conversation. There was an aura there. It was present the entire time we were in that dang building. An aura of nothing. An aura of emptiness. I'm not sure if Monica felt it, but I sure did. The lack of feeling, that is. But what the heck could be the problem? I can't, I can't really be that boring, can I? And Monica sure isn't. So, what's the deal? Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to, uh, to take my time uh, thinking this off for a little bit, I think.